Our next presenter is Mike Henry. Hi right, everyone. I want to introduce you to my favorite planet up there in the upper left. This pale blue dot Earth that we all call home is home to 7 billion different people. Now these 7 billion people use a lot of power. We use about 17 terawatts of power a year. Now this number is expected to increase by 50% in 2025. So we need to figure out how we're going to meet this energy demand. Now one way we can meet it is with coal. We can put down a coal power plant every two to three days and we'll be right on track to meet that demand. <laughs> but that's all. Coal is terrible. Coal is killing the environment. So we need to look at some alternative energy. So let's look at uranium. Now, uh, if we take the current uranium supply, multiply it by its energy density, we can basically see how much energy there is in uranium. And we'll find that uranium could power the human race for about 500 years. Now, that's a lot longer than coal could power us, which is about 100 years, but still, still not perfect. That brings us to the sun. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a giant nuclear furnace, building hydrogen from helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot, the sun is not a place for you and me. But here on Earth, there'd be no life without the light it gives. And it's going to give light. Give light for about another billion years. So we should be looking at the sun for our power consumption. Now that brings us to organic photovoltaics, or how I envision the human race being able to capture the power of the sun. Now organic photovoltaics are solar cells made out of plastic. So instead of making solar cells out of traditional silicon, which is heavy, brittle, um, and really expensive to manufacture, we can make them out of plastics. Plastics give us numerous advantages. They're going to be lightweight, they're flexible, and we can use current uh, solution processing techniques to manufacture them. So the same way we make uh, newspapers, where we can just basically print a sheet of dye onto some substrate, we can make solar cells the same way. So what I'm working on is how can we engineer more efficient solar cells? Currently, solar cells are about 10%, and we need to hit them to be about 15% to be truly economically viable. Now, I don't actually make any solar cells. Instead, I use computer simulations to look at how we can edge out some extra efficiencies. So I use these. These are graphics processing units. So the same kind of graphics card that makes like, computer gaming awesome is the kind of graphics card I use to run my simulations on. I take different molecules, throw them in a simulation volume, and uh, integrate the forces to calculate the way they self-assemble. So here we have this nasty disordered mess. And here, after uh, temperature cooling, we get this nice ordered structure. So then what I can do is look at this ordered structure, see what kind of efficiencies it gets to help improve solar cells. Because if we can improve solar cells to about 15%, we will be more economical in coal. So it doesn't matter that the current administration doesn't believe that global warming exists. We can beat it with capitalism. Thank you.